Hello there. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll take you through task five of the CellPip speaking test, and we will review two sample answers together. So let's begin. In part one, you need to read and understand the situation. Compare the information provided for the two options and quickly choose which one you prefer to talk about. You get one minute to decide, and if you do not choose, the computer will choose one for you. You do not need to speak for this part. In part two, you must read the information about the new option. Think of details and reasons to explain why your choice is better, and use a specific language to explain your choice and expand on the information included with the picture. Your prep time is 60 seconds, and your speaking time is 60 seconds as well. All right, here's a strong sample answer one of my students has done. In my view, opting for a fast food franchise is a superior business idea compared to venturing into a delivery service company. First, considering your five years of experience in cooking, obviously we have more culinary skills than any other skill needed for different types of jobs out there. I should also remind you that the existing back injury that you have restricts heavy lifting and makes the delivery service less practical. Just think about all that manual labor. Beyond the physical challenges, the financial aspect also favors a fast food franchise, wouldn't you agree? Starting a food franchise requires a more manageable investment of $15,000. In contrast to the hefty $50,000 needed for the delivery service, which includes purchasing a large truck, that is a complicated step on its own, right? What I'm trying to say is that your choice is financially and logistically impractical for us. Plus, operating a fast food franchise offers the added benefit of engaging with customers, making it a more enjoyable and socially interactive business. All right, that was great. Now, let me show you a list of useful adjectives that you can use for most task five topics. When you take all the features into account, my choice is the most superior option. This machine is a lot more efficient than the alternative we have. My choice is definitely more practical than what you have decided on. I believe my choice is the only logical option in our case. In terms of durability and flexibility, I think this item is a better option. Considering all the aspects, the most reasonable option is the one I've chosen. This place is obviously more spacious for what we have in mind. The business I'm proposing is certainly more lucrative than your choice. Beautiful. Now, let's take a look at another strong sample answer done by one of my advanced students. Here's the topic. Your family wants to purchase a fan. You find two suitable options. Using the pictures and the information, choose the option that you prefer. In the next part, you will persuade your family that this is the best choice. So on the left side, we have a large floor fan, which is 20 inches in diameter with three blades, made of durable material, and it's about $70. And on the right side, we have a picture of a ceiling fan, which is 50 inches in diameter with five blades, requires installation, and it's $110. For this exercise, my student picked the one on the left, the large floor fan. Okay, 60 seconds is up and we have made our choice. Now, your family is suggesting another type of fan, a mini fan. Persuade them that the option you chose is more suitable by comparing the two. Let's see. The mini fan is five inches in diameter, so much smaller. Can also work with two AA batteries. That's a nice feature. 
and it's much, much cheaper. It's only $15. Listen, I acknowledge the range of choices available, but I must recommend the large floor fan as the most fitting selection for our specific needs, especially when we consider our intention to install the fan in the basement. I do recognize the merits of a mini fan for our working space, for example, but the affordability of the mini fan does not outweigh the practicality and versatility of the $70 floor fan. I also want to add that the portable mini fan might be suitable for outdoor use in the summer, but it is impractical for our basement due to its limited coverage. You should also know that the battery option sounds great now, but it can become an inconvenience in the long term and eventually create extra costs. That makes sense, right? Opting for the floor fan not only addresses our current need, but also provides flexibility because it can be easily moved around the house and repurposed for various needs in the future. That is why I think the floor fan is a more compelling choice. Don't you agree? Lovely. That's it for this video. If you want to practice all the other tasks in the self speaking section, check out this playlist, which has more than three complete sets of all the eight tasks in this exam. You might also want to check out other grammar or vocabulary videos we have on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe to stay tuned. Good luck and happy learning.